Okay, now after gaining access to the machine through exploiting the uh, remote PHP code injection vulnerability, now we are in, in the targeted machine and we need to escalate our privilege in order to get the flags. So here we are at the temp directory as you can see here. I'm gonna maximize the screen. Okay, so here we are at the directory. If we list the content of the directory here, we see our Python shell here. Okay, now we will navigate to home directory, list the current files. We have Zico. Okay, now I have a couple of WordPress directory files. We will navigate to WordPress and we see um, some PHP or some WordPress configuration files here. Now the file or the files that are in concern or that will um, benefit us is the WB config to PHP because mainly it contains the credential for the SQL database. So I'm going to list the content of the WB config configuration file. Um, sorry. Okay. Now here, you will see that the MySQL database username, which is Zico, the password, and but we but we currently have access to the PHP database. Okay, PHP my admin. If we try to go use those credentials and access or have access to the SSH server here, because as you know, the server is or has open port. Uh, which is one or two, I think, which is SSH. So we're gonna try to SSH the target machine. Uh, not Simon, sorry. It's Zico. One nine seven six eight one three nine. The password. What if the password? If we use the password for my SQL database here. Copy. And. I'm going to use the same password and hopefully it's going to work. Again. Okay. You see here, now we have access to the vulnerable machine also through SSH. If we click on, if we type list, we will list the files. If we go to um, or if we click sudo, type sudo minus l to escalate our privilege, we see that we cannot escalate our privilege because now we are, our ID is Zico. But here, as you can see, that it tells you that we can use the tar and zip command without the need for entering the password for the root username. So I'm going to try to execute those commands here. For example, if I uh, create some file now we are in home Zico let's create some file for example um, in home Zico and let it be on test now we have a file new file called test I'm going to compress that file okay and because we as a normal users can issue or run the commands, zip and tar commands without the need for root access, we're gonna use and harness this in order to create a zip file and then unzip that file and issue uh, some sort of command that will escape our privilege. This is how it works. Now, here I'm gonna um, sudo root minus u root and zip on Zico test to be on Zico test with zip. Then, then I'm gonna unzip this. Unzip mm, command to be sh minus c bin. That should escalate our privilege to root.
Who am I? Okay. So here we have this file. Is it warning name not matched? as it is okay now we are root as you can see here now what we have done is we um, have taken advantage we have taken advantage of the fact that we can issue commands tar and zip commands and use them in our advantage in order to let the zip file here issue a command which is sh minus cbin bash in order to have root access. Now we have escalated our privilege. If we type id, now we are root. Now cd root the flag cat flag of text and we did it. Thank you for watching.